Hey there. Now I said I was getting another video. So this is where we are now. Uh, this is where all the black plastic was. Now it's all gone. The uh, roof and supports are up. I have framed up these openings. There's six of them, as you can see. And uh, what we're going to do is we have an abundance of material that I've scavenged from a uh, shipping company. And what we're going to do is this here. As you can see, um, these are basically 2x4s. They're called dunnage 2x4s. They're not, uh, they're in pretty, pretty bad shape. But, uh, as you can see, they had nails in them. We'll fix that. And they're all branded, a lot of them are branded with this dunnage. Dunnage meaning trash. I'm putting in a window right here. So I gotta have to do a little extra framing here. But as you see, this will all get stained out and with some redwood stain that we've got. See the insides. Um, I have these thiels down in the ground right here because it's supposed to have some really nasty weather coming in. And uh, with the wind picking up and all that, I like to not have this thing rocking. I've got some other things to do, and now that I have a wall up, yeah, it's the big old wind stop. So, anyway, as you see, the back side I support. She's uh, she's pretty tight. She looks good. I mean, uh, I bought the uh, two by four on the bottom. That's a green stud. About a 10 footer paid five dollars and change so figure about 250 for one because I cut them in half so it's five and five that's the openings so I got about two dollars and fifty cents in it and then all the uh, nails that I used believe it or not came from banning from a uh, long long time ago I had them in a in a bucket Figured, what the hell, we'll use them. So we did. Yeah, a couple of screws. But basically the whole wall cost me, each one of these cavities is costing me about, I'd guess maybe three bucks. <laughs> Except for this one, because of the window. Well, I got to get started on this side now. This side here took me, I started this morning uh, filling these walls about seven o'clock. Uh, it's now 2:30, and uh, yeah, I took a I took about an hour lunch break. So do the math yourself; you can figure it out. I know I'm not going to get the other wall done today. I'm, I'm feeling a little slow, but uh, yeah, I get to sit here and watch my uh, little goaties. They're watching me, one or the other. That's Annie Beth. And that's uh, the little one there is Rosie, and that's her Mama Mia. Get it? Mama Mia. Yeah. Uh, where is he? Where's your buddy? There he is. See him way over there? That's Thor. We put him in with the girls. He's getting a little older. He doesn't like all the harassment the boys give him. So, Anyway, that's it. Give you an update later. See ya. Bye. Okay. I showed you the one wall over here. We finished that, you know. And then uh, today's Sunday. We're done over here. We had a storm come through that uh, 
it was very nice to, to actually it was a terrible storm but <laughs> it uh, see how the grounds nice and dry in here my concern was uh, anything rolling under the wall here and getting in the walls along here fared fantastic there was hardly any water come through and this was a terrible blowing storm this side's all muddy and that's just because this wall wasn't here before and yes you can see gaps in the boards believe it or not I have no two by fours that are straight anymore I had to finish with two by sixes that I collected in my scrap finds those were chunks as you can see again quality that's not what these are this is dunnage this is more crap junk whatever the heck you want to call it they didn't make the grade I mean as you can see these these are pretty pretty rough shape but on the outside they're not bad I mean it's a nice surface on the outside so that's uh, my main goal for the weekend I accomplished got this thing enclosed uh, next step is to uh, well, I've still got some material framing to do finish some things um, then I get to start on these end caps this fence over here will actually go up against this wall here or that stud right here this whole opening here there'll be a door here and a door over here on the other side there'll be a door here and then a door here dead center will be a fence and it'll go over to that railroad tie over there if you can see it over there and that way I can split my pastures uh, I want to be able to let some of the forage grow before these guys get in there and tear it up so and then the well, out front there there'll be a big door and a little door uh, to load hay the goats themselves will be allowed to move freely about the space to here which is basically 10 feet uh, it, they're losing 10 feet that's 10 feet will be uh, food storage there'll be a feeder built right here um, and then there'll be two stalls over here uh, one kidding uh, well actually just two stalls uh, because of the frequency of kidding and or a goat needing to be separated from the herd so there'll be just two otherwise the rest of the area will just be lounging for the goats which is a lot bigger than the area that they're in over there because over there they're sharing it with the boys so the boys are going to get the bigger space in that one over there and uh, we're going to build on another pen where we will actually have pigs as well so this side here is is going to be strictly for girls so that's it another day another bunch of rain a bunch of mud I have a chicken foraging right there looking for something to eat it's the end of a Sunday back to work tomorrow see you later